Hey guys, today we have the Easy Extreme for the iPad Mini with Retina. And the only thing you guys really have to worry about are these little V cut in the corners. You just don't want to overlap them. Okay guys, you want to start by peeling off the wax backing. And then reapplying it so that the microphones up top are visible. The buttons on the, on the side are visible. And you also want to make sure on the bottom that the speakers and the lightning cable port are visible as well. Okay, we're going to start with the installation process. But as you can see, there's some slight scratches on here from not the use of the skin, but with the use of the actual Apple case. Our focal points are going to be the camera, the mic, and then the speakers and the lightning port on the bottom. One little twist, it will throw off the whole insulation of the whole skin. This design is so precise, that's why it's called the Extreme Fit. Because it contours the edges so perfectly, like I said just a moment ago, one slight degree of being off. It will, it will throw off the whole installation. Okay, I have the camera and the mic aligned perfectly. So this will make for the bottom to be almost evenly aligned too. Alright, you can tell I'm a little off here. You can lift it up and realign it. Okay, it's still not straight, so I can still lift it up and move it over just slightly. Now that I feel like I have the posi positioning correct, you can push down the areas around the lightning cable and the speakers just to hold that side down. Since this is a 90 degree angle, they still has the chance to lift. The adhesive on the button sides of the skin will hold the rest of the skin completely down. So you want to press it down so it secures to the device. Now you can lift it up and remove the wax backing from the back of the skin. As you lay the skin back down slowly, all the cutouts should align back to where you had them previously. Okay, so now at this point, you want to press all the air bubbles from the middle out from the middle of the device. So now, press the sides down firmly to the sides of the iPad. You want to leave a small radius around the four corners where these cutouts are. But since that these this is a 90 degree angle, you're still going to have to heat the sides because there is still a possibility that they could lift. Okay, you just want to inspect the upper areas because it's going to be very delicate during this next step. You may want to just firmly press them down to the device now to make it easier later on. Here's one of the corners on the bottom. You want to start in the middle and then press down. As you can see, the two sides is butted together. As you can see, you're going to have a little sharpness right here at the top. And then once you heat it, the little crack is going to form better together. And we're going to do it on the other side here. Press firmly from the middle, and you can see the little point at the top again. These little lifts, you're going to need those to heat. Okay, now we're going to heat the bottom corners with our hair dryer. The Easy Extreme was created for those who want the same edge to edge protection and it reduces the heating process. Now, if you guys look here, the top part of this side is nice and smooth. The bottom part, I went a little faster and it caused this little wrinkle. That's no problem. 
all you have to do is lift it up and remove the wrinkle from the heated side. And once you have it lifted up, you can reheat it down and it'll come out nice and smooth. The iPad Air and Mini Extreme Fit compared to the iPad 2, 3, and the 4 is much tougher. Why you ask? It's because of the 90 degree sides on the Mini and Air compared to the 145 degree sides on the 2, 3, and the 4. As you can see in this diagram here. Okay, continuing with the insulation, you can see by reheating that side, we had completely removed that wrinkle that you saw earlier. Okay guys, now it's for the second corner that I had previously pressed down. Like I said, that point's going to be there until you heat it. And now we're going to heat it and remove that crevice and make this corner smooth. I know some of you guys have installed the Extreme Fit for the iPad 2, 3, and the 4 already. But the Extreme for the iPad Air and the Mini is almost nearly impossible to install perfectly. So be a little wary when ordering the Extreme Fit. Now, if you see here, this corner has lifted up because it wasn't heated down. It's no problem. But also, if you notice, the mic hole is a little off-center here. That's because by the mic, it's slightly off, so it caused it to be a little off-center. But that's no problem. It's hard to be exactly perfect on this insulation. So, as you see, I already pressed this corner down, as I did with the previous two sides. And now it's time to heat. Alright guys, now it's time for our fi final corner. This one you want to be a little bit more wary because of the lock button on the top. You just want to lift the area around the lock button a little bit, just so that it'll be a little flush. Alright, now that this corner is pressed down, we can grab our hair dryer again and heat the corners. As you can see in the corner, I have a wrinkle there like I did before. All you want to do is lift it up and reheat it over again like we did earlier. Okay guys, with my opinion, when deciding what type of back skin you want for your iPad Mini or Air, I would definitely recommend going with the Easy Extreme. Because it has the same coverage as the regular Extreme, but it's easier to install. Okay, we're just about done with our installation. But you do want to go around all the sides and edges of the iPad. That's because, like I said before, these sides are 90 degrees. So you just want to heat them and make sure that they adhere to your iPad. So, in my honest opinion about the installation and the overall coverage of this particular skin, I don't... I, don't, I believe that there's not another one out there that can get as much coverage as this one does right here. 
it protects all the edges, and it comes up to just about the screen. So you don't have to worry about dropping it and nicking the corner of your iPad. So thanks again for watching, guys, and until next time.